Hey there, StarCraft fans! It's Falcon Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft Brood War Remastered! Today it's going to be a match between JDX versus Burrito here on Space. Once again, this was sent to me by the owner of StarCraftWorld.net. A great place if you love fastest map ever battles. There are replays. There are people you can play fastest map ever with. And a ladder. A ladder you can climb by playing other people in fastest map ever. If you feel like you're better than these players, go prove it. Go to StarCraftWorld.net and join up and basically ascend to the top of the ladder. Okay, okay, okay. So it's going to be a PvP. I've never cast a PvP fastest map ever before, but I'm looking forward to it, looking forward to learning along with you. But anyway, this here at the top of space is going to be the Brown Protoss player, GDX. And in the bottom right-hand corner, it is his opponent, the Teal Protoss player, Burrito. All right, so Burrito here versus JDX. Scouting a little bit here. Oh, hang on a second. <laughs> Did he... This is weird. So JDX scouts down. Is he here? No, he's not. Well, I'm going to throw my proxy in the middle here anyway. Is he making some kind of assumption? Does he assume his opponent's to the left or down here? He's just... He doesn't seem to know that Burrito was down here. Why is he making these weird assumptions? He's like, I can't scout everywhere and get these proxies down. I gotta make an educated guess. So he made an educated guess, but I think he was off. I think he was wrong. As he's got in the top right, not there. Okay, I do like that he's continuing to scout. That makes me feel all pleasant on the inside. Meanwhile, Burrito's doing almost nothing. Did he go? Oh my gosh. Burrito went Nexus first, you guys. By the way, you may have noticed my voice is back. It's 100% back now. Like I said, uh, it's just it was about four or five days where my voice was gone and I was sick, but it came back and everything's okay. I know a lot of people were like, I'm worried about you and I'm worried this is going to be a permanent thing, but it's definitely not. It's My voice is 100% fine now, and it will be. It's just, it just seems like... what What is this? What is happening? Two nexuses... And then two gateways, after his opponent already has three up. His only saving grace here is that his opponent is scouting his base the very last. This is the luckiest Teal Protoss player of all time. Yeah, but like I said, about once a year, it seems like I get really sick and I lose my voice. And it sucks, but it always comes back. And it's always fine, and it doesn't bother me anymore. It's just a weird illness. I've got kids, okay? They bring home parasites with them. They bring home bacteria with them and viruses from the kids that they play with at school and in the neighborhood. And it just, it is what it is. Uh, my immune system is getting stronger all the time. I think, I hope. Anyway, here comes the army. JDX with the proxy zealot attack is ready to rock here. What is he going to go after? I don't, how does Burrito hold this? This might be the shortest game of all time, you guys. This might be one of my sneaky twofers here. I don't know. All right, so the zealots come on in and they're going after this gateway, which is not a great target. JDX, come in here. Fight these Zealots. You got a 2-1 to one advantage right now. I guess maybe he's just going to try to make sure that he is up in the grand scheme of things. He has more gateways than his opponent, right? Because he's got three. And if he can knock his opponent down to two, then it just comes down to math, right? Oh, here we go. Here is our battle, though. Battling on in. Oh, that teal Zealot does manage to escape down into Safetyville a little bit. There's some cannons coming up, defending the probe line a little bit, which is great. Man, these colors, I don't know if they're different enough to really tell what's going on here, but it sure seems like the Teal Zealots are holding their own here in the bottom. Once the cannons come up, they're going to do a much better job with it, but JDX bringing in reinforcements all the time here. And, oh, he's got his own cannons coming up here too. What is going on? He's going for the offensive cannons. This is an exciting fastest map ever match. Very, very fast indeed right now. Dude, if he could depower these buildings, he would just win, but... Some pretty good micro on display here by Burrito. He's attacking JDX, though, has just a massive lead at the moment. That cannon gonna come up. He should have focused it. Oh! JDX's cannon does go down there. Gets taken down by Burrito's cannon here. I'm trying to get a good zoom level to see all that's going on right now. And this seems to be a pretty decent engagement right here. JDX, I think he needs to go for it. I understand he's cannon rushing with these zealots, but. Yeah, he's going to try to take down these cannons while getting shot at by another cannon. There we go. Man, zealot damage is just so high against buildings that are warping in. Against anything that's coming in really. Look at this. Burrito's forced to fight with his probes. Oh, look at him stacking his probes so they all attack at the same time. That was some brilliant play. 
out of burrito. Look at him stack all of these dudes up. Okay, the, there are not many left now, unfortunately. Oh, another cannon up for JDX. Oh, man. This is problematic indeed for burrito. He's been on his back foot ever since these zealots made it here. But he opened so greedily. He did cancel that second nexus, or that third nexus that he was bringing up. Which, again, I don't, I don't know what he was thinking with that. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't understand it. But, uh, man, he's kind of throwing away some zealots here, going after these cannons that are warping in. But he understands the importance of at least bruising them. Yeah, because this one comes up, and it can actually deny several other cannons here. Meanwhile, Burrito does have a pylon up inside JDX's base, but JDX, he doesn't know it's there, but Burrito can't really afford much, as it turns out. Oh, bringing up the probes, stacking them again. Look at how fast these cannons die with stacked up probes, you guys. The probes are dying just by the scores right now. Cannons versus cannons is always a weird engagement, but I think... Oh, boy. I don't know, man. Burrito, I feel like you're in a heck of a lot of trouble right now, buddy. You're going to lose that gateway. You only have two anyway, and your opponent has three that is consistently producing zealots off of right now. His macro is pretty good. These cannons are going to take down your fours. They're going to take down a pylon. Not that you're in danger of being supply blocked or anything. But is he just good? He's doing it. Oh, and JDX does end up scouting the cannon rush inside his own base. He needs to throw a cannon up, like, right now. Right. Oh, that's too late. That was too late, man. There's two cannons coming up in range of these cannons. This one, maybe. Oh, we are cannon rushing on both ends of the map right now, you guys. What an absolutely insane fastest map ever so far. I'm having a lot of fun with it. Maybe this is what PvP is. PvP is cannon rushes and... Zealot attacks. Maybe we never actually get past that tech. Uh, these zealots need to get up here and hurt these cannons. Like, they need to sacrifice their lives and hurt these cannons. They're doing a great job. They're doing a great job of it, too. And they do manage to save it. They save these assimilators. Oh. Simply by sacrificing their lives and allowing these cannons to win the battles. Oh, that was genius. All right. See, look. Simulators are fine now. That's great. Are these defensive cannons? I can't even tell whose these are anymore. These are teal. Oh, man. This is more stuff coming up from Burrito. Meanwhile, the aggression down south is pretty much done. Not that there's much that can happen. <laughs> I cannot believe that Burrito has turned around and cannon rushed his opponent fairly successfully here now. These simulators are in huge amounts of trouble. This cannot... Okay. So that's... Oh, same story here now. Burrito bringing zealots up, getting rid of cannons or JDXs. Assimilators getting hammered down. Really should build some assimilators over here. Get that gas to come started on the right side. But the problem is his nexus is taking direct fire now. He is making zealots still. He still has the cash. He still has the income to do this. The infrastructure. Wow, he brought his zealots down here? Interesting. All right, man. So we took out that cannon that was really bruised and injured already. Holy smokes, are both players going to lose their nexuses in the next couple of minutes here? I don't see any way for them to save their own production facilities and their own nexuses. I mean, they each have a backup nexus, which is a huge boon right now. But this game, <laughs> this game has started out insane. The nexus for JDX is gone. The nexus for Burrito is I mean, it's not dying as quickly. There's only one cannon in range, but several are warping in now to assist with this. And the replacement forge for burritos getting attacked here, too. Good golly, Miss Molly. Yeah, I mean, sure, it'd be a lot worse for each of these players if they didn't have backup nexuses, but they do. And as a result, I don't know. I mean, I kind of feel like this is JDX's game to win. Oh, what are we sneaking up here? Oh, he's expanding. Burrito managed to sneak a probe up to this top right to expand. JDX is building his own. Oh, he's expanding to the right side now, too. <laughs> I just, I am in love with this game. This is just a ton of fun so far. And I don't know. I kind of, again, I feel like JDX has the upper hand because he just has more. Uh, he just has more gateways here and more zealot production. Honestly, I don't know what stops Burrito from pushing up with these cannons, except that there's a cannon here, but... Up around this right side, I think there's an angle to cannon where he hits these probes and that guy can't defend it. Seems like he's missing an opportunity here a little bit. Ooh, a robotics bay. Done for burrito now. And a robotics facility. What the heck? Did he have a robotics facility? And he must have lost it. 
must have lost it. Or maybe he built it up here. Nope, that's not what happened at all. Oh, boy. Yeah. Oh, the gas income for JDX is going to be really crippled here fairly soon. Meanwhile, it seems pretty healthy for Burrito. So both players have their very sneaky expansions, and I'm not sure the other player knows about here. I'm pretty sure they have managed to keep that hidden from their opponent. But it's going to be Shuttle. It's going to be Robotics Bay. Oh, JDX doing the same thing. Where's he building those? Wait a second. No, that's definitely Burrito's. Where is Robotics Bay warping in? Oh, just right here. Good golly, he's just building it inside Burrito's base. Alright, fine. So, uh, he's gonna go for Reaver Drops. And the same thing his opponent is going for. I mean, obviously, that is what is really good here in Fastest Map Ever if your Protoss are. Reaver Drops and Storm Drops and whatnot. Just because look at how stacked up these probes are. These are probe lines that, I mean, any Protoss player, any professional Protoss player would just salivate over. Over the prospect of getting a hit off there. Uh, with a storm, especially with the storm, but also scarabs would be pretty good too. So the gas income now for burrito is literally zero. Uh, or th rather, for JDX is literally zero, and it is happening here right now for burrito. He does have the income. Big old zealot attack. Remember what I said? Is having the zealot production is going to help him immensely here. Defensive reaver trying to save the day. Oh, that reaver pops out and gets immediately destroyed by the zealots. Nicely done. They don't have any upgrades because upgrades are for chumps. At least so far, and actually taking down the robotics facility so no fu future Reavers can come up is a pretty fantastic play indeed. So the Reavers for Burrito, he wanted to use them offensively, but he's not able to do so. Seriously, get in here and kill this Reaver. Oh, defensive offensive Reaver. The Reavers are gone. Burrito is in a huge amount of trouble. He's got Reavers. He's got Zealots on top of his stuff. The thing is, he's happily mining up here and rebuilding in the top right-hand corner. JDX does not know does not know this is happening. Oh my gosh. The Reaver. The Reaver Massacre is real, but both players having their secret bases and their secret incomes. Oh, the Robotics Bay might get taken out now too. That is just brutal stuff right now. Ooh, got some cannons up. The first Dragoon of the game is out. Burrito built one of those. But yeah, I don't, I've not seen any units fly past little secret expansions on the right side right now. I mean, JDX is scouting about. He's trying to see if there's an expansion his opponent has. And same thing for Burrito. He's flying around with a shuttle, trying to see what he can see too. I'm assuming there is a Reaver in that, and there definitely is. Uh, where did that his Reaver go? I don't know. Oh, it's in here. All right, here we go. This Dragoon and the Cannon. Trying to work together. Split! Split the probes! Oh my gosh, no! That was it. That may have been the end of it. Oh gosh, one more shot. Come on, Reaver, stay alive, buddy. Staying alive, buddy. Probes fighting. No probes, don't do it. Gosh, 68 kills! 68 kills on this Reaver. And meanwhile, cannons are kind of getting shots off. Oh, the probes that go around the outside get killed. Bad pathing, guys. No, 68 kill reaver is done. Yeah, I don't. I really don't see how Burrito comes back from this. I mean, sure, there's zero gas income for JDX right now, which seems problematic. You think you'd want gas to win this game, but where your opponent's income is in the toilet, and it's 113 to 37 supply. I don't really think there's much at all that can be said here. I mean, Zealots are on the remaining mineral line that you really have from Burrito. Zealots are actually pretty darn good against cannons, even if they don't have upgrades. Even without upgrades. Look at them chomping through these cannons. Chompity chomp, chomp, chomp. Cybernetics core done. Sure, this all the tech is up here. It all exists. Does he have a cyber core up here? No, he does not. All right, that's a problem. That's his only cybernetic score, and he's going to lose it unless he starts to warp it in. The cannons, and yeah, JDX, he's lost everything here because this Reaver wandered in and murdered everybody. The cannons were doing a good job of it anyway, but JDX has this base. He's warping in cannons. He's warping in a Vespine geyser. He needs gas. He understands that, but he's just got this huge zealot army, and I think huge zealot army kind of wins the day right now, even with this many cannons. Uh, I think Huge Zealot Army has it figured out. Oh, do you know? Do you know? 
Well, you know now, if you didn't know before, he's like, hey, look at this. Look at this juicy, delicious, oh my gosh. Oh. My. Gosh. Give it! Give it! Run! Run, probes! Zero kills! That's bullcrap! Oh, wait, hang on. Oh, that's a defensive reaver. This is the offensive reaver. Alright, alright. I see. I see now. Zealot army coming in for the kill right now. Oh, reaver versus reaver. Nice. Is that a pickup? Is that a pickup at a dodge? I think it was. Hang on, hang on. How many kills? Oh, look at that scarab. Just explode on nothing. 26 kills. Oh, the micro. The micro is better for burrito. The micro is better. The zealots make a run past the cannons on top of the dragoons. The dragoons can micro this, but uh, it's hard. I'm just going to say it's very, very difficult to do so here. 46 to 89 supply. I mean, burrito is kind of trying to make this thing happen. But losing that reaver battle because he didn't have the micro to pick up his own dude was problematic. He has to bring... Oh, brings another reaver home to try to get rid of all of these zealots by his lonesome. But taking shots is bad. Don't you take shots. Nice pick up there. And here we go. This is what I'm talking about. Dealing with the zealot army. Using the reaver to the best of his ability here. Burrito is fighting really hard and really well. He might have evened this game up. I know I've called it for JDX a couple times now. But that's just me trying to understand what we're dealing with here. And what we're dealing with here is an absolutely insane the fastest map ever map. This might get an epic tag. This might be the first epic tag I give to a fastest map ever match. Because holy crap. This has been great. 67 to 48. I mean, being down 20 supply is bad. But it's not as bad as it was, right? Burrito's happily mining up here. Uh, so is JDX. He's got some gas income as well. Both players not doing crazy with gas, but you know, some, some is here. Uh, both players' main bases are just ghost towns. There's nothing happening. JDX is expanding in the bottom left. I really like that he's continuing to expand right now, continuing to have backup sources of income in case bad things happen to his main stuff. And yeah, trying to get cannons up, but the zealots keep showing up. Over and over again. There are three cannons and a Dragoon. Versus like six Zealots. And I think it might be enough. The Dragoon especially getting that extra firepower. 20 damage per shot might be enough to help. That Dragoon pulling up to the safety. Well, the relative safety of Nevermind. To where the cannons are, I guess. Probes in here trying to mess up the pathing on the Zealots. So they can't get direct hits on the cannons. That's some pretty good stuff. And you know what? Yeah. I mean, it took some time, but they defended it. The problem is continued zealot pressure here because, again, these gateways have been key for JDX this entire game. Really has. Where was that reaver shot? Who on earth did a reaver shot over here? I don't know. But this is a very, very sneaky base down here. I'm enjoying it a lot. Uh, burrito. Oh, this is Burrito's reaver right here. He's trying to get stuff done. But reaver versus reaver battles. Ah, done. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, see the voice is back. It's nice. Oh. Ah, Burrito. Now, uh, nice. Burrito wins that battle. Okay. Hang on. Hang on, Burrito. <laughs> this might be my favorite darn thing is just those reaver shots on those probes. Not cannons. That's not worth your time. Don't hit cannons. I mean, sure, hit cannons, I guess. The problem is it's overkill on that third shot anyway. What? JDX is tapping. Is he offensive? G what? Hold your horses. Did he know? I think he just knew. I, I mean, it wasn't... He wasn't done done, but he recognized... This Reaver was in range of all of these probes. And he did have, again, this backup. But there was not much going on here. He wasn't able to take out Burrito's source of income up in the north here. Too many Dragoons. Too many cannons coming up all the time. And this Reaver was ready to go. This Reaver was ready to destroy everything here. These cannons couldn't help it. Just sitting up like right here. That's all it would take. And then he has to pull all of the probes if he doesn't want them to die. He doesn't have any zealots. He doesn't have any dragoons. He doesn't have any Okay, so while I was in the middle of that, I ran out of hard drive space on my recording destination. So 
Let's continue that thought. He didn't have anything to take out. Burrito's economy. No zealots, no dragoons, and no reavers. But he had some in production, so I'm not entirely sure he needed to tap out. But this little reaver right here is in range of all of these probes if he moves up a little bit. And uh, this is just incredible. Burrito came back. And um, this is getting an epic, epic tag. Woo! Cannon rushing. Proxies. Burrito being very, very lucky that JDX did not find him with his scouting. Ah, uh, I, I, I really, really, really enjoy this game, and I hope you did too. Let's go ahead and check out the final score. 109,000 points for Burrito, 104,000 for JDX. Units here, 215 units killed by Burrito, 151 killed by JDX. Now, that's not entirely fair because it was mostly cannons, I think, that Burrito's producing where it's a lot of zealots for JDX. I mean, Burrito did have, obviously, Dragoons and it did have uh, Reavers there, but definitely more zealots produced, as we can see here. More units produced from JDX than from... <laughs> Why this number here does that. Uh, this has been really jumpy. Anyway, structures here, more killed by JDX, more cannons and buildings taken down, and then our resources. In the end, a Burrito had more gas mined, but JDX had more minerals mined and total spent overall. But again, it was just came down to the Reavers and the Dragoons, and just the big-time hits on the economy to JDX, whereas Burrito was... He did take some hits, but not as many. And in, and in the end, that micro saved him quite nicely. So... Good game here to Burrito, and that's going to be it from me. So this has been Falcon Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft Brood War Remastered. Go ahead and hit that like button. Hit that subscribe if you like what you saw and what you heard today. You can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, Patreon, and Twitch. All slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching, and you take care of yourself.